Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're at the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company over in Hilldale, and we're going to be talking about Bach beers a little bit later on in the show. So if you're wondering what that is, stick around. You're going to want to hear what they have to say. But first, we've got Arlene DeForest. She's the owner over at Moments to Cherish Bridals in Verona. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. And Welcome. just decorating our set today. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Yeah, We've it. already been drooling over these yeah. beautiful dresses this morning. So nice. We want to go back to prom. I know. I know. Can we yes, do that? Can we go? like with the prom? <laughs> with prom. <laughs> right? So we're talking about prom today, prom dresses. How soon should you get your prom dress? Most proms are typically, are what, eight, May, um, June? April, May. Oh, April, May. Yeah. Okay. Sooner yeah. than I even thought. So, um, how soon yes, should you get it? It hasn't been that long, Ellen. Come on now. <laughs> so I don't know. You should come in and purchase your prom dress as soon as possible because the um, manufacturers, they only, per, they only make a certain amount and when they're gone, they're gone. Um, we can try to order, but there's no guarantees. Sure, so if you want the first pick, right. probably from the most selection, right. Right. sooner is better than later. Right. And let's talk a little bit about something that has always been a mystery to me and maybe to you at home as well, but that's dress sizes. So it's so hard to know because women's sizing can be so varied, but how are the prom dresses sized? Uh, prom dresses size are go by measurements, just like wedding dresses are. Um, the main thing is, is we have to do the measurements. Mm -hmm. um, there is no prom dress that's going to fit you perfectly. <laughs> Especially with the form-fitting ones. Right. Unless um, you're shaped like this right. mannequin here, which none of Correct. us <laughs> yeah. So basically you should be looking at probably a size to one size up, I mean one to two sizes up from what you normally wear. Okay, so if sure. you wear a four, you're probably looking at a six or an eight. Now is that so it can be taken into your measurements or because it, you just generally want to go up? It basically is because of the way the dresses are, okay. are made. Okay. Um, they're not made conformed exactly to your body. I, I see. suppose. Got they're it. not stretchy like your favorite no. t-shirt. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I suppose not. not. Sure. Get that there nice are person. a few dresses that are made out of jersey knit. Okay. So they give a little bit more, but the ones that are more the structured, satin, structured, structured mm -hmm. the satin and the chiffon ones. Sure. You probably have to Makes have a little sense. bit of alteration stuff. Yeah. And you also want to be able to eat dinner. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. You don't, sit down. Don't forget and dance. dance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dinner and dancing. So. so we're having a hard time taking our eyes off these two styles and deciding which is our favorite. It's, it's hard to tell. Um, so what are, what are the popular styles this year? I see a midriff bearing one. Is that kind of that new That is the big thing. Yeah. The two-piece, um, you know, wow. either the flared skirts. There are some that are like ball gown skirts. Um, there are other ones that are just more form fitting. Um, but it's basically the two piece. The ball gown, of course, is still popular. Classic. Classic. Um, I know a lot of high schools, the juniors, that's what they typically wear, are the, the ball gowns. Um, mm -hmm. But really, when you look at what the manufacturers are making now, they're more of the sleek, um, form fitting or the uh, two piece. Well, and I think mm -hmm. it's still very classy yeah. and classic because it's, you know, it comes up to the neck. It's still got that beautiful train and that beautiful skirt. Oh, and it's not a you. lot of midriff showing. It's right. really and it's a higher up midriff too, yeah. typically, isn't it? Kind of more like bottom of your rib cage. Right, right. Yeah. 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 It's very, so very cool. pretty. Now you said dresses can be ordered. They can but you gotta be. have enough time. Right. Okay. So what yeah. is typically the timeline for um, that? Right now, there's just one of the two companies where I can go online and see if they have it in stock. Sure. Um, they may still have it in stock even though it says just call the store and find out. Uh, typically, the companies do not do a second cutting and make more. If they do, they usually come after prom. Okay. Mm, I see. All right. And really quick before we go, tell us kind of ballpark cost. Uh, I have dresses that are from previous years sold there, they may be as much as $200. Um, typical ones, you're looking at between three and $450. Okay. Uh, and the, of course, the Paul gowns are always more expensive. Well, this is your one opportunity before you get married, of course, to <laughs> yeah. have that princess moment. And we all look back on those photos and memories with a lot of joy. So thank you yeah. for sharing that with sure. us. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Arlene. We you appreciate welcome. you being here. And again, she's with Moments to Cherish Bridals in Verona. Be sure to check them out if you're looking for a prom dress this season. And we'll be back with more Girl Talk right after this. <laughs> 